You got it. Good morning, everybody. Dr. John Asplin here on another beautiful Friday morning. We've been going to construction sites throughout this whole period of being in e-learning and sending you videos. We thought today we'd come to Silas Willard Elementary and make sure we, we stopped at other buildings as well that aren't just under construction. So I'm here today with Mr. John Bradburn, principal at Silas Willard, and I'm gonna turn it over to him for a second. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's great to talk to you. Uh, the year's gone off to a, a great start. Uh, teachers have been doing a lot of work in uh, getting uh, together with students through meets and it's going very, very well. Uh, we're gonna do another uh, announcement for Winter Circle today, so we'll be looking for that video. Uh, that's been wonderful, and the, and the parents sending in the pictures of our students so we can put it up on our wall of fame in the foyer is going great. So keep doing that, be looking for that video. Uh, the year has gone off, uh, again, very successfully. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Dr. Asplund. So I wanna make sure I get a few very important announcements out today. Uh, first of all, we've been hearing that some people may be a little confused about Columbus Day, which is next Monday. We typically have not had school on Columbus Day, but we've changed the calendar. Uh, that actually happened last year before we knew anything of the pandemic. But uh, we will have school on Monday. It's an e-learning day, what, just like all the others. We haven't changed any schedules or anything like that, so we will have school on Monday. But the following Monday, we have a Teachers Institute, so there will not be school. And, uh, and, and that's because we still have to follow the state calendar guidelines that the, the state has given us. And, and uh, we have a lot of uh, staff development opportunities for our staff on that day on Monday, uh, October 19th. But October 12th, we do have school. October 19th, we don't have school. Uh, as for the board meeting next Monday night, I told you last week we may be moving it up. We are moving it up. It's going to start at 5 o'clock on Harrison Street at Lincoln School. If you want to come talk to the board, you need to make sure you come to the board office, check in. Um, and then you'll have an opportunity to speak. There could be a lot of people there, so we might be shuffling people in and out to make sure we have the safety guidelines in place. But if you want a chance to speak, we will definitely give you that chance to speak, but you need to be there at five o'clock on Monday night. So uh, after the board makes whatever decision they make, we will send out some communication shortly thereafter to inform everybody what we're gonna be doing. I, I don't know what we're gonna be doing because we have to have a discussion um, so I really don't know what to tell you in terms of how, what's going to happen after Monday. Uh, but for sure, we're going to stay in e-learning for at least another few weeks because it's going to take time to plan for whatever it is we're doing. So uh, for now, we know we're going to be staying in an e-learning format. The board will decide next Monday how we're going to proceed, uh, but that's going to take time to plan for, for how we change that. And, and we have a lot of barriers in place like transportation and, and uh, making sure we have enough staff to do the things we need to do. And, Another factor that's coming into play is, is the fact that our positivity rate in Knox County is now over 9%. So that's going to be a barrier in terms of getting people back in the building. And if we do, we have to make sure we have people isolated if they uh, somehow turn up to be COVID positive. Uh, and so we have to have a lot of plans put into place that, that right now we don't have those uh, currently in place because we're in an e-learning format with some students coming back. We do have some students coming to school. Uh, but it's just a select population right now. So the board may decide to keep doing what we're doing. The board may decide to start slowly adding students back. The more board may decide to do something more radical. We don't know. Uh, it just depends on what the conversation bears on Monday night. So uh, signing off for today, Dr. John Aspel on a beautiful Friday morning here at Silas Willard Elementary School.